Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute patriotic tiered tray using mostly items from Walmart. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, what you're going to need, a set of these burner covers. Now, these came from Walmart. Why am I using the ones from Walmart instead of the ones from Dollar Tree? Well, because these are a little bit more sturdy, okay? And we're going to be using clothespins. Clothespins are heavy. So you need something that's going to be able to hold some weight. So that's why I chose these from Walmart. They come four in a pack. We're going to be using one large and one small for this. We're going to throw that in the floor. You're also going to need some uh, clothespins. You're going to need yeah, around 112 to 115 clothespins. I got these at Walmart. 100 in a pack. Really inexpensive. You're also going to need these little wooden stars. These came from Joann's. And for the center, I found these drinking glasses at Walmart. How cute are they? They are the Better Homes and Gardens Shatterproof Tumblers. A tall one and a short one. And you're also going to need some paint. I'm going to be using spray paint, this Rust-Oleum Satin in the color Midnight Blue. And then I have some Satin White. And then I also have this reddish color colonial red this is also from Rustolium. and i got all this from walmart good luck finding red white and blue spray paint now but anyway what we're going to be doing first you know what might be smart let's let, let's go ahead and glue these together okay let me take off the labels and then we'll glue them together all right, so I took the labels off and I have my hot glue gun heating up over here. So let me show you what I'm going to do. What we're going to be doing with the clothespins is putting them all the way around our burner covers once they've been painted. But what I did is I just put them all the way around there so that you can see about what that is going to look like. And now that I have them all fitted, um, I'm going to take these other covers here, the small one and the small one, and I'm just going to put the clothespins in here. And then I'll know to paint everything in this blue, okay? That's why I'm doing it this way. Um, I don't know exactly how many clothespins you're going to need because I don't know what brand of burner cover. And I know they all vary just a little bit. And even the brands of clothespins vary. Um, so, yeah. Just take these off. And I don't know. I didn't count exactly how many clothespins I have for the top and the bottom, respectively. But you know what? If you will look down in the description box, once I get everything painted and put together, I will count them. And I'll have a count for you <laughs> um, either in the description box. And I'll try to put a pop-up right down in here showing you how many I used. So now I'm going to take them off of here. Like I said, just so that I know how many to paint. Now, what I'm going to do with the ones on this big one, I want to paint all of these blue. They're going to be on the top. So, look at the cat hair. Oh my gosh, if you follow me on social media, Facebook, and my Facebook group, <laughs> you saw I posted a picture of my cat was sleeping in this thing, or sitting in it. Later on, she was sleeping. But what I'm going to do with these clothespins down here is I'm going to paint three white, three red. Three white, three red, three white, three red. You know, and then have them all the way around like that. That's what I think I'm going to do. Let's get all these off of here. All right, done with that. So what I'm going to do is I want this big cup here. We're going to glue it there. And then I want to have this one on top of that, like so. And then we're going to have this small one and glue it on top just like that. All right. And then I want to take the whole thing outside and just spray paint it white. Okay, which is why I chose this white one because um, I wanted to paint this white and yeah, I didn't know if that white was going to match up with this white. So eh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. You paint it however you want to paint it. But I have this E6000 Plus. This is low odor and I used it in a previous video and I will tell you it is indeed low odor. I mean, I didn't really smell anything off of this. Just, just barely, barely. But anyway, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put some of this E6000 just right around the edge here. Right around the edge. And then this is going to have to set up for a good 24 hours before we move it around, okay? I'm not even going to bother with putting any hot glue on it to help tack it in place. I'm just using the straight E6000. I think that's in the center. Yeah, that's in the center. Let's just press that down. There we go. All right, now I might use a little bit of hot glue on this um, so it doesn't slide off, you know, cats, dogs, and feral children running around. You gotta do something, right? So, oh heaven forbid, I'm wrapped up in the cord. I'm just gonna take the E6000 here and I'm gonna put it around the edge. Blop, 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 blop. Wait, okay, let him go. Look what it's doing, stop it. All right. Now we're gonna take some hot glue and I'll put that in the very center just to kind of help, like I said, to tack it down. And let's try to get this just right on top there. Let's get that centered. And I think that looks pretty darn good. And then I'm going to take E6000 and go around the edge here and then just set this one on top of it, okay? Now for these stars from Joann's, I'm going to paint a handful of these white because I'm going to use these to decorate the blue clothespins. So I'm going to take those out and paint those white. Um, like I said, with those clothespins over there, I'm just going to alternate three, uh, three red, three white, three red, three white, and then all of these here, I'm going to spray paint blue. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, so it is the next day, and look at all these little pieces of leaves and stuff. The wind here has been so bad. It has been absolutely terrible. And there's pollen everywhere. Oh my goodness. And so there, there's pollen on everything because I spray painted them and then I left them outside so they could get good and dry. And um, yeah. But anyway, um, this is how I paint clothespins. I take burner covers and then I just put the, the clothespins on them and I spread them out and then I just set them down and then I paint one side and then paint the other side. You know, that holds them up really, really well. You can get to all of them. And um, they're real easy to paint that way. So, you know, just have a set of these burner covers on standby because they come in very, very handy when you're painting, when you're painting the clothespins. But what I'm doing here on this bottom one is I am just putting three red and then three white. And I'm gonna have to just space them out um, the best that I can here. Oh, look, there's a little, I won't have to take a, I've got a paintbrush over here and I'm just going to go and kind of just clean this up a little bit here in a minute. It's like I said, there are particles and everything just flying around. Um, I do keep a container of baby wipes here in my craft room, um, wet wipes. And then I can just go and I can just wipe this down uh, to make sure there's absolutely no little particles. But yeah. That's all that I'm doing with this is alternating the red and white, three red, three white on the bottom. And then I have my bucket of blue ones over here and I'm gonna put all the blue ones on the very top. So I am going to work on this for a few minutes and then we will come back and I will show you what we're gonna do with the little stars. Okay, so everything is put together and it is difficult. I know, oh, look, I can set it right there and y'all should be able to see it. But these are the little wooden stars that I had painted. I know this looks wobbly, but you know what? When you get stuff down in the bottom of it, it's going to be just fine. I just tried it out. I know. I even put in my Uncle Sam gnome here. Um, I had gotten him from Dollar General last year. But anyway, all of these wooden stars that I painted. Now, all I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put a big old... Where is my glue stick? It fell out. It's bad when your stick falls out. On camera, too, man. Just some hot glue, like so, and then I'm just going to glue it onto the top here. Now, there's two different sizes here. That bag actually had four different sizes, but the others were, like, too big to put on here. Um, so, we have these bigger ones and then these smaller ones. I'm just going to space them however I can space them, you know? Might just do, like, the bigger one and then a smaller one on each side. And the bigger one, smaller one, you know, just alternating them like that. But um, anyway, let's take a look at jewelry. This awesome, awesome ring, only $5. And the bracelet, only $5 from Paparazzi. If you will look in the description box down below, I'll have a link to Paparazzi. If you click on that link, 
and then click on the button that says shop, it will take you to the jewelry. And you can also sign up to be a consultant where you get a really awesome discount. Who doesn't love discounts? Especially in today's times, give me all the discounts. <laughs> all right, let's see. So this is the smaller one. And I don't think I'm going to have enough of these to go all the way around with as closely as I'm spacing these. But it's okay. I can just um, run back by Joann's and just grab another pack if I want to do some on the back. All right, just stick that there. And then I'm just gonna put another bigger one here. And like I said, I'm just gonna alternate those around. So I'm just gonna keep gluing these on and then I'm going to get my little gnome guy. And I have this star that you put together. This came from Dollar Tree and I have some red, white, and blue flowers over here. Um, and I'll get it set up and I'll take a picture for y'all. So anyway, stay after the video and I'll have a photo where you can see it in its entirety. But if you would, please give this video a thumbs up click subscribe check me out on other forms of social media the links to all of which will be in the description box down below and i hope to see y'all next time